Roseville, we have the most homes for sale that we've had since December of 2022. What does that mean to the market? Hey guys, Brandon here with the Roseville, California market update. If you're looking for homes for sale in Roseville, California, this is a great place to start to see what's going on in the market. Let's start out by talking about what the market currently looks like. As of right now, there are 248 homes active for sale. There are 145 that have sold uh, this last month, and there are 125 that are currently pending, which means someone's agreed to buy them. Now, 248 homes is the most we've had since December of 2022. So what does that mean for the market, for the Roseville market? Well, uh, the way that I look at it is, it is the time of the year where we see homes for sale go up. We see, you're gonna see some of those other stats like days on market and things go up. It's totally normal. If you look at a graph every single year, you're going to see a lot of these numbers jump up in the last three months of the year. Let's look at price per square foot. Price per square foot is $312. That's $5 down from last month. It's the lowest in three months. The Roseville market has been pretty consistent. So for six months straight, houses have sold for 99% of what they're listed for. Uh, so that's a pretty solid number. So earlier in the video, I was talking about things like days on market going up. Well, Roseville actually is one of the only cities in Placer County where the days on market are actually going down. So they've been hovering over the past few months, 31 to 33 days. They are down to 24 days. So that means that the market is still moving. Both the for sale price and the sold price has gone down. The sold price, I would know if I would know anything from this graph, is the sold price has gone down four months in a row. So let's continue to watch that in the following months to see what happens. As we look at Roseville's months of inventory, meaning how much time would it take if we didn't list any other houses to run out of homes? It went from 1.3 last month to 1.7 months of inventory. See, we are seeing that rise. I wouldn't be surprised if when we get October numbers, we see it over that two months of inventory. Uh, and we may get a little bit more to a stable market. I don't know if we'll quite hit four by the end of the year, but it will continue to rise. So some things to watch. Uh, the actual houses that are actively listed at 248, as we see that rise, because you, you have the most homes for sale in any city in Placer County in Roseville. So we want to watch and see what those numbers are. We also want to watch and see the days on market, because that's also an indication of how fast homes are moving or selling. Uh, and then we also want to keep a look on the inventory. And that's pretty much for any city in the area to see, uh, to see how fast the homes are actually selling um, and what's available uh, for people when they look to buy. So if you own a home and you're looking at these numbers saying, man, there's a lot more houses on the market than normal, the inventory has gone up. But keep in mind, if days of market's going down, that means houses are still selling quickly. Just because more houses are coming on the market doesn't mean your house won't sell for top dollar. So if you have any questions about uh, what your home's worth or how fast your home would sell, if you're, uh, if you're thinking about selling or have questions, just shoot me a call or a text. I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you're curious on what's going on in nearby markets, check out these two videos, Lincoln and Rockland Market Updates.